What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be starting our Python web scraping tutorial series. Now this is more of a continuation of the Python tutorial series, but because we're going to be focusing on web scraping for three or four videos, I wanted to just make it its own little mini series. In this series, I'm going to show you the basics of web scraping, how to actually look at HTML, how to inspect a web page, how to pull that data in, and then even put it into a CSV file so you can save it and use it. Now in this series, we're just covering the basics, which is a fantastic place to start, but in future series, I'll be going into some of the more advanced web scraping topics as well. So without further ado, let's jump on my screen and get started with web scraping. Now, the first thing that we need to learn is HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it's used to describe all of the elements on a web page. Now, when we actually go to a website and start pulling data and information, we need to know HTML so we can specify exactly what we want to take off of that website. So that's where HTML comes in. And we're going to look at the basics, understanding just the basic structure of HTML. Then we'll go look at a real website and you'll kind of see that's a little bit more difficult than what we just have right here. But this is the basic building blocks to get to what the HTML actually looks like on a website. Now, this is basically what HTML looks like. We have these angle brackets with things like HTML, head, title, body. And then you'll notice that at the end, we'll have a body and then we'll have a body at the bottom. This forward slash body denotes that this is the end of the body section in HTML. So everything inside of this is within this body. And so there is this hierarchy within HTML. We have HTML and HTML at the bottom, which encapsulates all the HTML on the website. Then we have things like head and head, body and body. Now within these sections, we usually have things like classes, tags, attributes, text, and all these other things, things that we'll get to in different lessons. But one of the easiest ones to notice and look at are tags, things like a P tag or a title tag. Now within these tags, because this is a super simple example, we have these strings here, my first web page, and this is what's called a variable string. And this is actual text that we could take out of this web page. Now that you understand the super basics of HTML, Let's actually go to our website and I'm going to have a link down below, but it's going to be this one right here. This is basically just a website that you can, you know, practice web scraping on. It's called scrapethesite.com. And what we're going to do is look at the HTML behind this web page. And you can do this on any website that you go on. So we're going to right click. We're going to go down to inspect. Now, right off the bat, this looks a lot more complicated and a lot more complex than the very simple illustration that we're looking at. But let's kind of roll this up just a little bit. You'll notice we have HTML and HTML at the bottom. We have a head and there is the end of the head and then a body and the end of the body. So in a super simple sense, it is similar, but just the information that's within it is a lot more difficult. Now, if we look at this title right here, this is our title tag. If we click this little arrow, this is our drop down. You'll notice that here we have this string hockey teams, forms, searching and pagination. Now, let's say we didn't know we didn't want to click on that and go find it. There is something that's super helpful within this inspection page that you can click on right here. It says select an element in the page to inspect it. So we're going to click on that. And as we go through our page and let's click on this title, it's going to take us to exactly where this is in our HTML. This is extremely helpful, extremely useful. For example, let's say the data I want is down here. I want to take in the Boston Bruins. I can click on it and it's going to take me to where that is exactly in the HTML. This is where we can start writing our web scraping script to specify, okay, I'm looking for a TR tag. I'm looking for a TD tag. I'm looking for the class called team. This is all information and things that we can use to specify exactly what we want to pull out of our web page. Now, there are other things that we didn't really look at as well in just our simple illustration. Let's come right over here. There's things like hrefs. Now, these are hyperlinks. So if we went and then clicked on this, this is just regular text. But inside of it is this hyperlink where if we clicked on it, it would take us to another website. And typically that's denoted by this href right here. Then you'll typically see things like a P tag, which usually stands for a paragraph. Now, the last thing that I want to show you while we're here, and we're going to learn a lot more in the next several lessons, but if we come right down here, there is this actual entire table here, and let's try to find this table. And I'm having trouble selecting the entire thing, but let's select this team name. And if we look at this team name, you can see that this is encapsulating the table. So this table tag, Now these are super helpful because it takes in the entire table. Now, if we wrap this up, 
and we look just at this, it says class table, and then we have the end of this table tag. Now, when we open it, it's gonna have all of this information. So as you can see, as I'm highlighting over it, we have these TH tags, then we have these TD tags, and even these TR tags, which is the individual data. And this is something that we'll look at when we're actually scraping all of the data from this table in a future lesson. So this is how we can use HTML, how we can inspect the web page and see exactly what's going on kind of under the hood. And then in future lessons, we'll see how we can use this HTML to specify exactly what data we want to pull out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. I will see you in the next lesson.